everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window and welcome back to our mystery quilt. This week is three, week number three, Clue. I am so happy for you guys. We are so tired of going through the river, climbing through the trees. Maybe we need a little rest and make a cute little cabin for us. Isn't that cozy cabins this week? I am so excited, can't wait. But for anybody that's just joining us in, yes, you can join us. All the informations are on our blog. You can go ahead to it, download the pattern. The patterns will be available for six weeks for the time that we're doing this mystery. So go ahead, download the pattern. You have all the cutting directions and all your fabric requirements. I'm using those fun rolls. Those are the small rolls that we have on our website. And this week I'm gonna use Kenyan Red and oh how cute log cabin brown so those are the two rolls that i'm going to be using and cutting my fabrics from it i already pre-cut some strips all the information about cutting are on our blog and you know when you go to the blog you can click on the button and download this as the blog as a pdf as a pattern so that way you can be flipping through the pages and seeing everything that we're doing step after step it's gonna be just wonderful we're gonna start by taking our logs and lining them up to a nice arrangement i'm gonna use two small ones and uh, three small ones and two larger ones Oh, I have this color, so I'm going to be use, looking for a different color, lining it up, fun, fun, fun. This is so exciting. Oh, I don't have this color here. I better put it in just like this. As soon as you do that, you're going to uh, arrange it. If you like it, it's perfect. You're going to fold them right sides together and stitch. Once you stitch it, you're going to flip it open and open the seam in the back. You're going to sew them to sets of two. Then all pieces needs to be put together. Once you have it put together, what well, it's super fun and simple. Let me show you. This is open seams on the back. Really fun. And you can shuffle your seams. You can have two small one, one big anywhere you want it. You can use my picture as your inspiration, but also it is perfect timing to reuse any of your scraps. You can take two pieces, sew a strip, then add it to your log cabin. Or maybe you have leftover logs from a log cabin quilt. Grab whatever you can, as long this is six and a half by six and a half unit, you are good to go. So once we make our house this way, we're gonna go ahead and make a roof and i'm gonna start my roof by placing a rectangle in red then placing a square right over draw a line then stitch on this line then with the rotary and a ruler i'm gonna trim it quarter inch away we're creating a flying geese unit where it's also perfect for a roof then i'm gonna go ahead open it up i'm gonna press my seam towards my roof the first seam i'm gonna press it towards my roof then i'm gonna place my second square draw a line let me show you how i lined up my ruler i have a white line right here i match it with the bottom of the square and then draw the line i love to use this pencil that's a sew line pencil draw it once you finish drawing you're gonna stitch trim it and now flip it open and you have a beautiful roof unit. This time I'm gonna push my seam allowance towards the background, towards the background. And I'm using the two rolls for the dark pieces for my background. I'm using this piece from our bundle is the one with the lines on it. There is a very delicate direction to it, but nothing to worry about it. You're gonna be just fine. So, but if you wanna pay attention that when you laying your pieces flip them and check that their directions is matching once you make a roof you are ready set go to put your roof together with your house so you have a house you're gonna take a roof place it right sides together stitch it flip it open and you have a cozy cabin but let me show you another way of making cozy cabins what about we take 
bigger pieces like this one and a smaller one and sew it together. Then again, we're gonna open the seam in the back right here, open the seam in the back. And now make sure again, check that it's six and a half by six and a half. All that you have to do, sew this to this and flip it open. I love making houses like this. It feels like they are three dimensional. Make sure you have a little lighter piece on this side and a little darker on this side. It gives a fun dimension to your house. Let me show you some of the houses. And one, two, and three. Look at the houses. And now we are ready when you finish all your houses, you're going to be ready to grab some of those pine trees that you made last week. And you're going to be adding them in between some of the beautiful, beautiful low cottages. Yes, cozy cabins, cozy cabins, we're calling them. In your pattern, you have exact directions what you need to cut from your background. It's going to be very important right there. Let me show you. Let me show. Oh, we are right here. We finished our cabins and now right here, you have the cutting direction in the beginning, but now you're going to be laying all those background pieces. I have all mine already cut, ready, set, go. And I can't wait to lay all my pieces. I have only a few houses to do it and I can, um, uh, uh, four are done. I have two more to do it. And then I can lay all my pieces with my trees included with the background pieces, sew them into units, then sew them together. And now you're going to add a little road of three inches by 58 inches to the bottom of this row. And I uh, love, love this fabric right here from our um, bundle. This is going to be perfect road. Look at it. When I open this fabric and lay next to my uh, blocks, it looks so, so nice. So this is going to be perfect for the bottom right here. I call this a rocky road. And I am so glad that you venture with me on this rocky road and created second a uh, third row for our beautiful, beautiful quilt. I hope you're having fun with our little adventure and all the beautiful scraps. I hope I'm opening your eyes that you can take all the strips and scrap, making them to a new unit and create the most beautiful landscape. Happy quilting and I look forward to clue number four next week. I'm so excited for you. Get your rest in a cozy cabin. We may be hiking up the hill. Music